Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber and today I'm gonna be teaching you how I got this look featuring TGIN products. This is the Miracle Repair line. I am so in need of some Miracle Repair. My hair is dry, it's damaged, it's... I don't really have split ends, but I mean, I guess. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and how I shampoo my hair on wash day, then please keep watching. So this is what we're working with. This is my hair. Um, I haven't washed my hair in like two weeks, okay? I've been rocking like a little turban situation. I haven't been looking crusty, but so it is crusty, busted, and disgusted. I'm telling you now. But that's okay, we're gonna get it together. It itches. <laughs> As you can see, it's just like matted, it's dry, it's gross, it's dirty, it's stained. Got some product builds up, I got some edge control, I got some dandruff, I got a little bit of everything going on. Um, usually, I would like do four sections just to make washing easier, but my hair is so matted that I'm gonna have to section it off once I let the water hit it. Because I'm just extremely tender headed and I I can't. Yeah. Let's head to the sink. Hey hey, I'm back. I am doing a voiceover. Um, I couldn't shampoo my hair and go through the steps. It was all too much anyways. So here I am. So first things first, I am just saturating my hair with water, making sure it is really wet all the way through and I say that because my hair is so thick that if I don't like kind of manipulate it a little put my hands through there so swoosh it around then the water kind of sits on my hair and then the middle of my hair is dry so it takes me a, a minute to get my hair actually just wet but in this time I kind of you know itch it give me a nice little massage whatever trying to just make sure my hair is actually wet so, just doing that. I'm still wetting it. And you can actually see, like, it's not even all the way wet. Still scrubbing. Um, I think it's pretty wet right here. I think we are still scrubbing. Okay, so now it's pretty wet. So I think I'm about to wring it out a little so we can start the shampoo process. Yes. Okay, so I'm just pumping some shampoo out. Um, I'm starting at the nape of my neck and getting around my edges. That's kind of how I start. And then I kind of work it through my hair. And I just scrub, scrub, scrub. Making sure I have shampoo everywhere it needs to be. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay, you're not supposed to use your fingernails, but I'm definitely using my fingernails. You should use like the tips of your fingers. Okay, ignore my elbows because I didn't put no lotion on. Just, okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm putting more shampoo and I also wet my hair a little bit more just cause it was, I guess, feeling a little dry. So I wet it a little more and I'm actually working this shampoo towards the center of my hair. I'm kind of moving the hair out of the way, actually placing the shampoo there. So every part of my scalp gets clean. I'm applying a little bit more water to help with the lather and give me a little bit more moisture, I guess. I don't know. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I remember this making my hair feel so moisturized, like immediately, almost like I could detangle with a shampoo. It didn't leave like, you know, the squeaky, que squeaky clean feel at all. It just, it felt really good. So if that's something you look for, you would like this a lot. Like it didn't feel dry or like stripping. Sometimes you really need like a stripping though. Like not stripping, but like a 
clarifying okay so right here i'm really getting in the middle like i'm really like moving the hair to the side and just scrub 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 getting in there okay this is only the first wash so can you imagine doing this three times like i can't even imagine Oh, that looks like it feels so good. Look at all the sides. I finally got it to set up. That's the thing. I felt like it took a lot of shampoo and a lot of water for me to get a lather. Like I was really working with it. This is making me want to wash my hair. This looks like it feels so good. Yes. Okay, so I think I am rinsing it out right here. Yeah, I am rinsing it out. I am starting with the um tips of my hair because i had so many suds that it was like impossible to wash this out i was washing this out for like 10 minutes so we're just doing that making sure i'm getting everything out putting my fingers all the way through my hair to get the water through there to help me rinse it out giving myself a nice massage you can actually see how the water just sits on my hair in that little clip Still just scrub, scrub, scrubbing. And, and oh, look at all those sides. Yes. Okay, I'm still just scrub, scrub, scrubbing. I probably have hella shampoo still in my hair. All right. This is a true disaster. I'm soaked. My hair is so naughty. So I like the shampoo. It's just like I had to put a ton for it to lather. I, feel like. I don't know. We'll be back. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely see in the last clip I was definitely on the struggle bus. Anyways, I just wet my hair a little bit and now I am applying the mask all over my hair. Working it through really good. Getting a little bit of finger detangling in there. Now I'm going to go in and detangle with a brush i always use a brush to detangle my hair i never really use a comb in my hair anyways just because i'm extremely tender headed and a brush just works for me i only use a comb to like part anyways i've already um applied the mask and detangled my hair all over i just wanted to show you guys this piece so i'm just making sure there's absolutely no knots you want to make sure your detangling tool can go through your hair with ease and then I'm just gonna throw a twist in there to make sure it stays detangled while I put the shower cap on to let it sit and do whatever it needs to do. The bottle will show, um, the bottle will tell you how long you should keep it in for your hair issue or whatever. And this is how much hair I lost during the whole shampoo process. Okay, so. I've just rinsed out the mask that I put in. I love it. My hair feels so moisturized. Um, I did some other things after I washed the mask out, so my hair is kind of dry. I'm going to go ahead and do a wash and go, I think. I guess I'm going to do a wash and go because I bought... Like my curls never look this good after like a mask. I mean, and they don't even look that good, but they never are like defined. Like literally no definition. It looks like this until I define them. So I like that. The mask is everything. I did have to use a lot just because my hair was so matted. So it's like it wasn't getting through every strand until I combed it through my hair just feels so good i love this i'm just gonna put all the hair that i'm not gonna be dealing with up so i work section by section so i'm only going to work with this section and i'm just gonna ponytail the rest because i only have one clip so yeah so i put them in twist just so I can manage it. I'm just going to start with one section that's like this. <sighs> I hate doing I hate doing my hair. I hate it so much. Gosh. So the key to a nice wash and go is soaking wet hair. 
okay let me just show you okay look how good my curls look they don't even look that good but to me they look good because they're never this moisturized after a wash or especially after a mask so i'm just going to literally soak it i don't even think i have a towel in here how bomb my curls are no product that mask is bomb like Here's the length of my hair. It's pretty long, I guess. Okay, so I'm first just going to detangle my section. And I work in little itty bitty sections like this just to get the best results. For me, that's what works. Intense moisturizing leave-in conditioner that helps reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repair hair damage. Just looks like this. Cool, so this is just three pumps. I hate the pump like maybe it's it's like a huge conditioner bottle I would appreciate a pump but I just want to be able to get to the product you know just bust it open squirt it out bust it open squirt it out oh I love y'all look at my curls I I think I've been using just booty products because I'm shook I'm actually shook I don't know the way y'all do y'all's hair or the lock method or whatever but me i'm about to put this curl fluid in here and then put the gel and then do the oil the conditioner is just going to give me a layer of moisture under the gel and all the other products kind of like your primer for your makeup Purple repair curl food with black honey and coconut oil a super nourishing daily moisturizer that helps reduce breakage prevent split ends and repair damaged hair which is everything that I have apply the curl food doesn't smell like I can't hmm. I don't really smell anything this is the consistency um, very thick I love it so I'm just going to apply this start at the root bring down as much as I can and I'm going to apply some to the ends okay this is hella thick this is very very moisturizing oh snap this feels so good it's like clumping my curls together already before the gel we're going to move on to the curl bomb this is a soft hold styling gel that gives curls definition without the crunch again I hate I just hate the pump like come on girl come on it feels like gel yes feels nice in jelly so I make sure I get those roots really good because you don't want your roots to be puffy and your wash and go you just don't want that so I make sure my roots are saturated and I work the rest to the ends this take um I don't really know if this is doing anything I'm not getting the definition that I want. I kind of want to get my eco. This is not doing what I needed to do. Maybe I need some more. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm about to get some eco, y'all. this big ass jar in Texas for like three dollars like it to feel like I did something like I put something in there
Now I'm going to take the Miracle Repair Anti-Breakage Serum with black honey and coconut oil. Moisturizing serum that helps reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repair damaged hair. It just looks like a serum. I did three pumps. I don't know why everything has a pump. Like, can I get something without a pump? Product, hold the pump, please. So I split one twist into two sections. Trench it. Detangle. So drench the hair, apply your leave-in, don't forget your roots, apply your moisturizer cream, tangle, apply your gel. Don't forget your roots. how straight it is it's just like here but I can't cut off like the front of my hair you know so we just damaged it too postpartum shit Use the edge booster. Oh, it's kind of like beeswax. Okay, so um, my hair is about 
70% dry. Um, because this is damaged, this is like as curled as curled as it's gonna get. Um, you know, it's just damaged. Like this is just what I got to work with. So it's fine. It doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna show you guys how I stretch my wash and go. So I literally stretch it out. I pull it and I take like the top layer. I mean the bottom layer. I leave the top like the bang and like this up here kind of. Do it like I'm gonna scrunchie it and then I will take it downwards. I can't explain it. Just like this. And this is going to stretch my wash and go. Legit like this. Boom. And while I do this, I'll usually like do my makeup. But since my makeup's already done, I'm just gonna let it sit in for like a couple of minutes. Not nothing crazy. And you can definitely see that it's been stretched. It looks really good. And you can fluff it um, because this is like my first day. I usually don't fluff it. I let it get big on its own because it's already big. not hard at all it's no crunch it's just really good it feels very moisturized so back. I really love the way my hair feels it doesn't feel heavy even though I did apply a lot of products um, it doesn't feel heavy it looks good even my damaged part looks very moisturized it looks really nice I love it if I recommend you to get three things I would say get the curl food the hair mask and the serum I loved it um, I feel like a shampoo is a shampoo it did what it had to do um, the leave-in it was nice <laughs> it, it was cool the gel I wasn't a fan I wasn't a fan just for my hair I didn't feel like it was doing anything it, like wasn't thick enough for me and um, I do have some rose water refresher but my hair is like day one so I don't feel like I need to refresh anything um, I guess I could spray it, right? My hair's already wet though. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really nice. It smells really good. I don't know. My hair looks really fresh already, so I can't really say anything about it, but it smells really good. I feel like if you're on day three hair and you need a refresher that would benefit you really well i'm definitely planning on using it i loved it i loved everything about it i loved like 90 percent of the line they really killed it she killed it but yeah i'm really happy with my results i like it a lot if you guys want more natural hair videos maybe see some braid outs some twist outs some product reviews all of that good jazz let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys I am I've been natural but I mean I just don't deal with my hair because it's just team too much for me I'd rather throw on a wig throw it in a bun throw on a turban like but if you guys would like to see more I don't mind doing that so just leave some comments and thank you guys for watching